Hi friends, welcome back to the Cigar Scribe. My name's Shannon, a previous gay rights activist, and today it's been a hot moment since I've done an ex-gay react, so I thought I would react to something just for the sake of doing this video that I have found online. Now, if you're not familiar, people um, are coming up with this term doxing, right? So doxing is this idea that you purposely got away. I'm, I'm going to probably write an article on doxing, I think. I think it's really interesting how people want to make it where pe when people disagree, sorry, with your life, sorry. Um, people want to go into this area of a hate crime for people just disagreeing with you. I am all over the place, just like those comments. So let's talk about this. I have noticed that it launches into something. Once this is established in any society, ex gay individuals are discriminated against almost instantly. Let's dive into that today here on the S Car Scribe. So here is the Libs of TikTok account. They uh, make a lot of content on TikTok and on uh, Twitter by posting accounts where people are, are kind of on the fringes of society uh, and thought. And I think that this video comes out of Britain. I'm not entirely sure, but let's just listen to this uh, take from a trans person. My problem, because you are breaking the law by discriminating me. <laughs> the eyes of the law has already told me that if you see me as a boy and I identify as a woman, you are therefore being transphobic and doing an act of violence because doxing to someone who's trans and targeting their gender identity and on top of that, trying to, trying to get me taken away with certain things that aren't even true and slandering me, you realise that is, I could so do you for this. And I am doing you for this. I have to promise it's not a threat. This is not even a threat at this point. You have threatened me, so that's... Okay, let's talk about that here on the Escar Scribe. So we really need to talk about this a little bit. Um, is it okay to discriminate? No, nobody wants to be discriminated against. But that includes heterosexual people. Just because they don't view you as a certain way does not mean they're going to treat you with any less respect. So there's a difference. And I've talked about this when a, a person says, I would appreciate you using this term even if you don't agree with it. I find that it has the same caliber if somebody is of a different religion of you, you still may call them rabbi or teacher or sage or whatever or witch or whatever, whatever title they want to go by, even if you disagree with it. That's what tolerance means, is that you can agree to disagree. You can respect them and what their preference is without agreeing with the preference. So I don't take the stance that a lot of Christian apologists take that by saying a title or a name or a pronoun that you necessarily agree. I think that if somebody asks you their, your opinion, you can fully say, I'm sorry, I don't agree that you are legitimately a woman by birth and that you believe that you're a woman, but you're still a man who is trans. And it's respectful to acknowledge this in the trans community that that's a pretty balanced approach so you can't get everybody to feel the same way as you so let's listen to the first part of what they just said not my problem because you are breaking the law by discriminating me <laughs> the eyes of the law has already told me that if you see me as a boy and I identify as a woman, you are therefore being transphobic. Okay. So this is about thought. This isn't even about reality. This is about a person wants to control another person's thoughts. It doesn't matter. Okay, so let's talk about this. In communities where this becomes a major thing and people decide to, for whatever reason, go down this line of thinking. What ends up happening is that when transgender individuals gain this battle and they move into a society and the laws progress into thought crimes, what ends up happening is that people do not have any ability to go down the sex, sexual exploration of desiring heterosexual feelings. So by even uh, speaking out, I believe in Malta, there's a court case that has gone on where somebody's getting sued that they said that heterosexuality is not for them and that they believe that heterosexual or homosexuality rather, and they believe that heterosexuality provides a lot of 
balance and stability to society. And they are getting sued for making that claim, which is a rational claim. Even the Romans talked about this in their letters to their entire civilization, that their civilization was having issues of moral decay, which would actually have issues have, having soldiers in their army and a lot of like practical things. So regardless of what you think of people being ex-gay or former LGBTQ, this really, what it does is it does in fact discriminate against that community. It's a minority group. It's a sexual preference, identity, and orientation that falls in that category of having a tendency to resist same-sex attraction for whatever bloody reason that people decide to do it. Whether it is faith or other opinions, it's kind of a mixture. It depends on the person that you ask. So in light of this, in light of this conversation, when we have this conversation, if you're trans and you go into this thought policing, you're actually asking for a socialistic system. And what happens in those systems every single time is that it actually will stop you as a trans person from actually doing other areas. So once people thought control um, sexuality, they thought control religion, they thought control education, they thought control a lot of other things. So this is not a healthy approach to take with gender ideology or sexual orientation or discrimination. It's not balanced and it's really going to lead to more discrimination because what it does is it favors the trans person over everyone else. It favors their belief system over everyone else. It gives a preference to their belief system rather in a free society that promotes peace and Unitarianism and all these type of ideas. It doesn't allow for that because it puts one belief system above another. Thanks for listening to today's comment on XK Reacts. I hope you like it. And if you do, make sure that you click the like, follow, and subscribe wherever you're seeing us on the Etherweb. And I will see you next time. My name's Shannon, a previous gay rights activist.